What's up guys, this is Alex Louie. We're gonna talk about a function called string compare that has to do with comparing, what do you, you guessed it, strings. Uh, we're gonna be comparing character strings uh, and I'll show you what the behavior is uh, for the string compare. The first thing we wanna do is actually we wanna include our proper header file so we can use the string compare function. Uh, we want to obviously include iostream, that's for our input and output, and then we also want to include a header file called string.h, string.h. So this allows us to have the string compare function available. Okay. So let's get right to it. So how does the string compare behave? Well, the string compare actually will return an integer value when a certain condition is met. So it's going to return a 1 when, it, it, I'm sorry, it will return a negative integer when string 1 is less than string 2 based on the first character that does not match. And what does that mean? It means that if we look at our ASCII table, and here it is, and let's say we had something along the lines of the following. Let's say we had AABB versus uh, CCDKK. Okay. So this string is less than this string. Why? The reason for that is is if you look at A in the ASCII chart, the decimal value for it is 97. And if you compare that to the first letter here, which is a C, the C has a value of 99. And as I've mentioned in my previous videos, char is really an, uh, an integer. And what it's doing is it's finding the first character that doesn't match. So in this particular example, AAB versus CCK, the first characters that don't match are this one and this one. And since they don't match, then it will do a compare. Who's better? Who's bigger, A or C? And in this particular case, C, because the decimal value for C is 99, versus the decimal value for A is actually 97. And in that particular example, it's going to return a negative. So it's going to return a negative integer when string one is less than string two. Okay, when string one is less than string two. Now, if the strings are equal, then the string compare function will return a zero. And this would be the example here. If we had AABB, these both are equal and then the string compare function will return a zero. If string one is greater than string two, then what you'll re get returned is a positive integer and you're talking about the first character that doesn't match. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples, okay? So here is how we use it. So in this particular case, I'm asking for input from the user and it's being stored in a variable called name. And then I'm going to compare that name to the string called Joe Smith. And then the result of that, I will assign it to my variable called match, which has an integer value. Okay, because that's what the string compare returns. It returns an integer value. Okay, so let's go over the first example. Okay, let's go over the first example. So if I type in my first name, okay, I'll just type in Alex Louis, okay, it's telling me that the name that I entered is less than Joe Smith. Why? Because if you take the first character that doesn't match, so it would be A and J, and you know that A has a 97 versus J has a 106. So you know that A is less than J. And in one of my conditions, if we look back at the code, 
it says if match is less than zero meaning that now this is going to return a negative and because I've returned a negative I've stored it in match based on match match is less than zero then my value is going to it's good the main name is going to be less than Joe Smith okay my name is going to be less than Joe Smith it would, I think it would help if I actually typed in the value of match so let me do that match value and then do match and line so let me try that again so if I do that and then I say enter your first name Alex Louie so it returns a negative one okay and because it's negative the condition that matches is this one if this is negative is less than zero then my name is less than Joe Smith and again the reason for that is the first character where they differ is between the A and the J and A is less than J because A is 97 J is 106 okay okay so let's look at the next example where they're both equal so if I execute compile and run okay so if I enter Joe Smith okay my match value is 0 and my name is a match so if I in this condition if I say not 0 which is not false will give you a true and that's why it says name is a match I could also say so that it's less confusing if match is equal to zero so if I did if match is equal to zero and I compile and run let me do Joe Smith then match value is zero name is a match okay because match is equal to zero so name is a match so there's many ways you can do the expression I just started doing it with that one but I think it makes more sense to do it with equal to zero now the next example is to find a name that is greater than Joe Smith okay greater than Joe Smith so if I go and compile and run let's type in Luke Walton okay and actually let's yeah, let's do lowercase Luke Walton just to keep it standard so Luke Walton is telling me that the if we look at L and J, okay, L and J compare the values in the ASCII chart, you know that L is 108 and J is 106. So 108 is greater than 106, so that means that this name is greater than Joe Smith so let's actually do something real interesting here if we know that we're going off the ASCII chart okay and all uppercase letters come before lowercase what would happen if I typed in Joe Smith with capital J well I'll give you two seconds to ponder on that. So my question is, what would happen if I typed in Joe Smith with a capital J? So if I did Joe Smith, what would happen? Well, you have to go back to the ASCII chart, right? So Joe, capital J, is a 74. And lowercase j is a 106. So that means that this Joe Smith would be less than the lowercase Joe Smith. So if I press enter, it's going to return a negative one, and the name is less than the uh, lowercase Joe Smith. So if we were doing this in alphabetical order, and we had a Joe Smith with a capital J, and then a Joe Smith with a lowercase j, the then the Joe Smith with the capital J would come before the Joe Smith with the lowercase j. And that's that's it. I mean, that's it basically goes character by character. The first character that it sees that's not equal, then 
it will um, it will return the appropriate value. Okay, any questions you have, just uh, email me at parttimemagic.gmail.com or you can always access my webpage www.parttimeadjunct.com. Thanks again for listening and I hope to see you in the next video. We have a lot more of these functions to go, so I will be going over a couple of string string functions. Thanks.